It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer called Heathen American Pale Ale from Abbeydale Brewery, coming in at 4.1% ABV. There's a look at the can label, 330 can. Let's get it out into a glass and see what we get. Nice crack on the can, nice bit of smoke on the can opening. Beer in the glass then. Wow, even from a foot away, real tropical, juicy, lovely aroma to the beer. We've got a two to three finger white head, good levels of carbonation, slightly hazy beer. Amber in colour, light amber colour. Let's get the aroma. That is full on. That is absolutely full on, chock full of American hops. There's some great brood, there's some orange peel, fleshy blood orange, spiciness, pine needle. Yeah, really good aroma. I look forward to getting into this one. Cheers, everybody. Do you know what? Stone the Crows! Stone the Crows, this is my type of American pale ale. Easy going, refreshing, almost relaxing, but then all of a sudden there's this waft of spiciness and stinging nettle and grapefruit and orange peel and fleshy blood orange. It mixes nicely with the, the biscuit malt that comes through. A little bit of sweetness that rolls over into that into that bitterness so it gives it a nice little bit of balance with the with the beer it's a bit like this kind of tightrope walking sweetness then bitterness then sweetness but this is the type of beer i could crack open a can then i'd crack open another can and another can and then maybe another can and I'd be happy. Barbecue's lit. Just a couple of chucked a couple of sausages on it, or a couple of burgers, and happy days. Really, really good taste in beer. Really good taste in food. A beer that you can session. A beer that you can share with people. Um, that's one of the most important aspects of a beer. I feel is the coming together of people. The celebration of of, of people and eating and drinking and. But you need the good stuff to go with it, don't you? You need it to go with it. And, and this is a really, really good example of an American pale ale. Right, description time. Heathen American pale ale. Many moons ago, we created a series of pale ales in the search for the one that really shows the drinker what we're all about here at Abbeydale. Uh, beginning life as Pale Ale 6, we all instantly knew that this beer needed to form a part of our permanent range, and so Heathen was born. A wonderfully refreshing American-style pale ale showcasing the marvellous mosaic hop, light and sessionable, Bursting with tropical fruit flavours and a pleasant citrus bitterness. Absolutely, absolutely. And if brewed at Abbeydale Brewery, Hazelwood Road in Sheffield. Sheffield. I had the core range from Abbeydale Brewery a number of years ago. Probably five years ago. And I always rem remember a beer called Beacon's Fire. I don't know if they still brew that beer at Abbeydale, but it was like a chilli, it was a chilli infused beer, and it was smoking hot. It was like, rah, you'd drink this beer and it'd be like crazy, spicy, peppery. It would be one of those beers that you bought your mate 
and he'd be in a bar, you'd see it on, you go, I'm gonna he said, oh, get him in, mate, get him in. So you go to the bar and you come back with one of these chilli beers and you go, yeah, and you surprise him. And you surprise him with a chilli beer. Um, I'm not saying it's a complete novelty beer, but a beer to drink four or five pints of? Not really. But, and it's always the case in life, I've reviewed thousands of beers since then, but it's the quirky, it's the... It's the different beers that stand out in your mind. I still remember the name of the beer, and that's very, very rare for me. Beacon's Fire Chili Beer from five years ago. I still remember the name. So, Heathen American Pale Ale, really, really, really good beer. Really enjoy it. I'm going to rate it. Cheers. Yeah, it's terrific. Good carbonation, followed by a little bit of biscuit malt. Easy drinking, very refreshing. Spicy, peppery, grapefruity, nicely bitter. Mango, citrus, all sorts of stuff going on. Orange peel, fleshy blood orange. Just a lovely, lovely beer. I like that enough to give it a 9 out of 10. It's a Stone the Crows, 9 out of 10. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! And cheers.